Hi everyone, Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA here. Just wanted to talk to you about sensitivity analysis. Now, what we're looking at here is a uh, report on prediction, uh, profit prediction that I'll be running through at the next uh, Enterprise DNA Learning Summit, which is May 2018. If you want to register for the event, uh, and that allows you to watch it live, watch replays, get resources, uh, that uh, resource pack that comes with the event, I'll leave a link below in the description to do that. Now, what I wanted to showcase here, or at least break out in this tutorial, is sensitivity analysis. Because many of you are probably looking at this, these particular tables, so you see here, I mean, it's, it's quite small there, but uh, these particular tables, and thinking, well, how do you actually do it? How do you see how do you get these percentages down each different axes and then be able to change the results based on uh, based on all of the uh, calculations that will, w would be going on in behind the scenes to create this sort of pr prediction type analysis. And so I wanted to break it out. I wanted to show you how you actually do it. Now, the very first thing you have to think about is well, how do we actually create these numbers and that can affect a result inside a, a measure or a measure that we put inside this particular matrix. Well, what you need to do, uh, and uh, this is a, this is really important for any type of what if analysis, is you need to use this particular uh, this particular icon up in the modeling ribbon, the what if new parameter icon. And what it enables you to do, I'll just click on it, is you can create. Uh, parameters like a parameter table that has any sort of values in it and that is exactly what I have done for both uh, if we have a look at this one here customer change scenarios and cost change scenarios because that is what we have we are analyzing in this particular example I'm running through what happens if we increase or decrease our customers that we're getting to our stores and or at the same same time trying to analyze well if we are increasing or decreasing costs how is that actually impacting our profit so and behind the scenes, uh, tables have been created using that particular feature. And so I'll just show you what those look like here. So this is the costing scenario. So what happens when you use the water parameter feature, it actually brings up uh, or, or self-generates this generate series uh, table function that generates the table that you specify, right? And so we've got cost scenarios there. And then I'm also I've also created I've also created customer scenarios. So this this particular uh, generate series uh, function or formula is, tr is is what is going to I guess shock the foot traffic that we are going to um, try and analyze in our stores. So what we're, what, are, what we're ultimately going to try and do is we're trying to see okay if we can increase the foot traffic based on something we do in the business and if we can at the same time change the costings that, that the costs uh, that we are outlaying to say our, our vendors or uh, to our uh, commodity prices or exchange rates, uh, you know, what is that actually doing to, to to our profits, to our overall profits? And then once we actually generate, once we generate those particular tables, and you'll see this is this is the model that I'll be will be working on during the learning summit, and you'll see here that it's pretty pretty comprehensive. But we we do have six sessions, right? So we'll have a lot of time to go through all of these different things. But what I want to drill into here is these particular you see here that i've got my cost scenarios and i've got my customer scenarios so you see they don't actually impact the core model at all they just sit down to the side because i want to make it very clear very, very obvious that these are just supporting tables that are going to, to support this predictive type analysis work that we're going to do and uh, all they have to do is just sit down there and the key though the key though is we need to somehow integrate these two tables somehow integrate them with logic that is that is occurring inside of here because if you think about it we somehow need to i guess forecast out or extrapolate out some sort of forecast or, or budget or something that we can then uh, compare our scenario results to and so somehow we need to implement this logic over results that are occurring in here and that's going to be a big part of the full session at the Enterprise DNA Learning Summit. The key thing though is once we do, once we do do that, what happens is the measure, the measure actually, the measure actually creates the connection and that's the key thing and that's the key reason why scenario analysis can work inside of Power BI. You can utilize columns so you see here that these two columns uh, down in this particular 
So we'll have a look at, at say, let's have a look at one of these tables. So these particular columns are coming from those two supporting tables, the tables that have no relationship to the model. But the measure inside of here, which is profit scenario difference, so that's the difference between our scenario profits that we're that we're you know the the uh, the forecast that was that we're shocking based on our scenarios or whatever parameters, uh, and it's versus the actual underlying profit forecast we originally had. The measure is what is uh, generating uh, is is building that connection. It's building the connection, and that's why we can create. It's it's really unlimited what we could do here. I mean, we can create multiples of these sensitivity analysis tables. All we need to do is bring in the uh, the what if parameters uh, in some way into the matrix, but connect them via a measure. Okay, and so if we just if I just sort of quickly work my way through these formulas just to show you how they are connected. Well, first of all, we have a profit forecast up here, right? So this is just basically something we've projected forward and we've said, okay, well, this is our original profit forecast. Then we have our profit scenarios. This number is what is adjusted by the what of parameter. So you see here that this will change based on all of the adjustments I'm making here. So you see here, say for instance. Let's let's change increase our costs by four percent. Uh, actually, I wonder if I could I change that to five. No, I've set it on. It, don't, it can only go to um, every every two percent. But let's just set that on six, and we'll say that we're going to increase our our customer traffic by ten percent. Now, if we come down here, you'll see here that that is um, it hasn't changed it too much. So let's actually let's actually reduce cost by 10%. Okay, yeah, because then we can compare this. So you see here, I've increased foot traffic by 10%, decreased cost by 10%. I've got my profit scenarios now is way above my forecast, and then I've got my profit scenario difference, right? Now, this particular measure is what sits within here, and because this is being determined by what this is, by what this is, and this is being determined by these particular parameters here, you'll see that this now lines up to this result here that I'm hovering over right now, 6.05 million, 6.05 million there. So this is this is the measure. This is a measure which is which is drawing that connection, and that and that's the that's the that's the um, you know at its at its purest form. That's how the um, sensitivity analysis table is now being made up because of this particular measure being determined by this, which is being determined by those particular what are parameters which are in the matrix. Okay, so I'm going to round it off. That, that this was a bit about you know how sensitivity analysis works, how it actually works, uh, um, operates within your model, but also just you know, a bit of a bit of uh, promotion around the enterprise DNA learning. Some, so you're going to learn a, um, a lot more about how you can set all of this up, how you derive your forecast, overlay your scenarios, then work out the differences, put it into sensitivity analysis, then um, then integrate it to to the rest of your model. Um, so there's so much great stuff you can do around prediction and scenario analysis. So really looking forward to this session, this particular session, or one of the six. Uh, and um, yeah, really look forward to seeing you there. Don't forget there will be a, a link below in the description if you if you still want to uh, come to the summit. Um, there is uh, still time, so look forward to seeing you there. If you really like the content, uh, definitely throw the video a like. Really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, talk to you soon.